All right. So my last video with the webcam got more interaction, more views uh, than regular videos that I upload, and that's why we are going to continue drawing in this format. So let's move this back here because I lean more. Okay. So start with the basic shape. Egg like kind of shape for the face and the hair and the other parts of the skull. The basic color for what we have. And Refining that uh, shape and choosing the background color uh, So basically we have two colors now and by selecting any of them we can change the color of our brush to refining shape that we are going to paint over it basic shadows that represent the placing of the face parts so we don't use lines we use shadows and color touches to This method is like painting on a canvas with more freedom as a digital artist. And I like this method. You can always start drawing on a paper and move that to your PC and paint over it also nowadays you can use AI so you don't have to tell anything at all and most new generations are doing that it's really new and artists like me that we like to draw And also, uh, here I used a lighter color, so I'm shaping the face with two tone now, with a bright color, with a dark color, and the base color that I have. Here. 
lighter highlight for lighter parts of the face like this and this and kind of blend, blending them in so every time I use a new color I put it on a spot and then blend it just touch the color then select that because that color is now blended with my other colors and looks better This might be a very fast sketch or a long drawing, I don't know yet, but I hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe, I'm really trying to get to 10,000 or first to 2,000 subscribers for now, we already achieved the 1k goal but we didn't reach the require requirements to get monetized so if you like this video and subscribe to the channel you help me to make actual money from these videos because so far all of them was free. It's about a year now that I'm doing this and I'm really trying to reach the point that I can make some money from YouTube to create more content and have more energy to do it with passion I always paint with passion but you get what I say when you have a revolt your brain actually works very way way better um, making money is that revolt sometimes not always but sometimes it is and also uh, in the modern world, world that we live in your brain gets its revolt from likes or things like that and that's why you keep posting on social media and watching them so uh, I don't know it's happened to you or not or it is just me but I think it may happen to all the people because every time you pick up your phone you unconsciously opening up your social media and get lost in the posts in Instagram Reels or TikToks they just designed to keep you there because, and the worst feeling is after that when you get up from that chair or your bed that you were lying about two hours, three hours, one hour just scrolling without doing anything else that feeling is worst feeling of all and yet we keep going back to doing that one thing that I love about YouTube is you can watch YouTube and do your work actually that's 
why I really just use YouTube but also even then you should be careful because that also can waste your time you know the most valuable thing is your time because you live once I live once everyone live just once and it's like a timeline uh, that it's, uh, if I want to say it right it's like a uh, clock that is going down it's like it comes down and all you have is your life is your time and how you spend your time I really want to spend all of my time painting and drawing it's really what I love to do and what I always want to do every, every time that I have my phone in my hand and just scrolling through the Instagram reels or things like that after that I just think that how much drawing would I have done while I was doing that and wasting my time that's the worst feeling that I ever have is the feeling of wasting time and actually especially when you get older like me tell this that I am you really feel that every second counts and every second that's another thing that I really don't like to work for other people because every time I get hired as a full-time job I feel that I'm selling my life to get a some money from someone else that I could use that time for myself to grow as my own branding or my own uh, work and my ideas that I can do for myself not basically selling my life to get more money for someone else that's what is I think about having the job sometimes we have to do that but I don't really like it anymore I never liked it I never was a good employee at all never I always worked better for my own I And now I all I want is to this channel to grow and at any price I would do anything maybe different content here maybe some adding some another type of content to this existing drawing form I don't know yet but I have to try I already have my mic my webcam and a green screen that I don't use now because my room is not very large and that takes a lot of place even when 
I put it on the wall. It's kind of makes room darker. I don't know. But I, I know why, but, but because when uh, every color has a reflection value to it and a foam, a color foam like a green screen is have a material that observe the light and that is what makes the room really dark and ugly I don't like it I, I, I don't like anything at the at walls I like a minimal space that I can relax in it and tell me how do you like your room you, you, you are one of those people that are always have some decoration on the walls or have some I don't know paintings on the wall or some you know some people have very too much decorations I have them in my I know people I have some friends that when you see them they always have have a new decoration they buy things to just decorate the place with it and one of my friends once came to my house and he was going crazy because there's nothing in my house except furniture of course but there is no decoration at all there's nothing on the wall sometimes just a clock on the wall but I really don't like clocks because they make me kind of anxious I when I have a clock on my wall I do nothing it's like uh, you're just waiting for the day to be over I don't know why is that it's, but that's it for me maybe it's because of the school or uh, working on the jobs that you don't like make you feel like that. I don't know what is it but I really don't like it because I do not do anything when I have a clock on my wall some people are exactly opposite of me but I don't know all you have to know is to knowing yourself when you know yourself you can live your best life because you know what is your weakness what is how to deal with it and make it a strong point so I know that I don't work when there's a wall on my when there's a clock on my wall there's a wall on my clock and basically that's why I don't put a clock on my wall and in that way I much better so because I know something about myself and that's all that matters I saw some friends have a, had a story on Instagram saying she's very upset because someone told her that if you're not a if you do if you don't paint every day you're uh, not a pro artist you're just an amateur and you're just learning and she was very upset about it and I said to her it doesn't never matter what anyone say because if you want to say do whatever 
people wants you basically can do anything you never gonna please everyone and doesn't matter it's all it matter is how you know yourself you how you know your weaknesses your strong points all of that of course a good painter should paint every day not just every day but so much in every day I know people that who paint so much um, well, basically every professional artist that I know are working very hard, ev- hard every day more than anyone else who ever think about and that's why people watch them and say wow you drawing is so amazing you're a good artist I'm not that's the point that's the amount of your willpower uh, how much you want to sacrifice to become better and not it's not about the art but in every aspect of the life is how much you want to want something if you want it really want it so much you will find a way and you become an outstanding person because what is outstanding is something that is not normal so normal is not successful it's it's just working as enough but people who are making a difference for people that are extremely different not just businessmen because uh, wealth and money is usually from their heritage or from their parents or you know from the family always usually the wealthy people are got it from their family and but it's not all the time you can't out done with passion when you have passion money will come to you you don't have to seek money money will find you and that's the secret if you love something there always will be a way to make money out of it and in that way you never work because you're loving what you're doing and work usually is something that you don't like to do and you never should do something that you don't like to do and something that I done and in that case I I think uh, you can work for some time and keep the money and so you can live without working for uh, maybe two years and in that two years work on your idea so you have mo- enough money to live but you're free to do the thing that you want and make it make money from it and that's what I'm doing right now I have no other income and I'm trying to make this YouTube work and I'm not 
not going to leave this until it's become my main income that's the plan and I know it's going to take a ton, some time and I hope we can get there soon can work together help each other to grow you really can help me by giving me some ideas I'm really out of ideas that's why I'm keep drawing portraits I don't know what's happened but I am out of any idea I need new ideas so please please give me some ideas in the comment section because really don't know what to do anymore I used to do but I not now uh, that's okay I'm practicing doesn't matter I just practice hmm okay where was I So I take a break and I completely forget what I was talking about. But we are going to continue doing. It's okay because the only thing that matters is trying and you try. And basically, drawing is a training session you know like it's like the going to the gym it never ends it's just practicing and practicing it's not about the result it's about the repetition and Sorry, it's about the constantly doing something and never giving up. It's about training and all right. When you draw the ear, there is always more red in it because the light goes through and you can see more blood and that's why you should use more red when you draw ears. And the thing about drawing ears is they are completely different in every person and that sucks because there's not a repeatable shape that you can do for all the humans it's always unique the shape of the ears and that's crazy it's like your fingerprint 
that is unique to you i think it's in my opinion maybe it's not very scientific but from my experience of drawing portraits every year are different and unique for every human or every portrait draw is extremely different when you draw the ear you can't understand the position of the ear but the shape is always different always So please tell me in the comments what kind of form of videos you like to see because recently my views are going low, low as way low than they used to be and I don't know why that happens but that happens and I'm not going to give up ever also let's see any more details so let's add some highlight Details. So when you draw the hair, is you start with a bigger shape, like doing everything else, and little by little you refine that shape, to more details. One of the ways that you can uh, make a difference between hair and face when someone has a light hair like blonde or something like the color that I'm doing right now is removing the redness in the colors so using more green and greenish yellow with lower red can help you lift the colors and make a difference between it and the face also you can always add highlights to make it more 2D than 2D okay so far so good I'm li I like this and let's do the eyes use your average highlight color not the lightest not the darkest for the eyes and then draw the color part of the eyes in 
this case I need the green between the yellow and green and okay let's mix it and Okay, and make it darker for the left eye or the right eye, depends on the... Okay, looks good. So, with the darker color, I'm going to shape the eyes. Always there's a, always there's a shadow from the upper. eyelid and the lower part will be lighter let's use it for the other eye too maybe make it darker and use it so this eye the left eye is in the shadow and this eye is in the light so they're going to be different in the color Let's add more darkness also here. All right, and now the highlight. And here, all right, looking good. So far, so good. I like it. I think it's good for the amount of time we put in it and let's add a color lookup layer select moonlight or maybe candlelight no fall colors eh. let the fall colors be and add another color lookup and now let's use moonlight or let's see late night from day maybe um, let's lower the op opacity and now let's shape the mask layer so Shaping the mask layer.
okay that's enough for today's sketch and daily drawing i hope you like this video and stay tuned for a kind of different videos that i'm going to upload and thank you for watching please like the video comment and subscribe see you on the next one